Hi everyone, this is Tim O'Neill from Digital Art Academy. I'm going to do a really quick video today on how to um, use or create rather a paper texture in Corel Painter. So here we go. Let's dump this. We've got Corel Painter. Oh, probably better get Painter open. There we go. I don't need that. The first thing that we're going to do to create a paper texture is go to the window menu at the top of your bar. Go down to library palettes over to papers and it will open up this little palette for you. On the papers palette click the disclosure triangle here for the flyout and choose make paper. That pulls up another little dialog box for you. And from here, we're just going to choose a paper pattern. You can see if you click the disclosure triangle, again, it gives you some options. Halftone, new halftone, et cetera, et cetera. We'll just pick, well, in fact, we'll just leave it on halftone. And what we want to do here, you can see that if you adjust the spacing, moving the space or slider to the right opens up the space between the rows and columns in the selected pattern here. So you can see you can go however far you want. Okay? You can see what that does. Whoops. Probably better leave some of it in there. From very, very small to obviously very large. So we'll put it pop it back down here. I like it pretty small. And then the adjusting the angle slider um, will change the direction in which the pattern's rows are lined up. Actually, it's probably a little easier to see larger, so let's just pop this back up here. Put the spacing slider up. And you can see if we move the angle slider, it actually turns and changes the angle of the rows. So when you like the look of the paper or the texture that you have put together. In fact, we'll move this back down where we wanted it. I like it small like that for this one. Um, then all you're going to do is enter a name and we'll just call it Tim's Tim's Texture whatever you want to name it. Tim's Texture 1 and click OK. Okay, so if you want to select that paper, then you will go over, whoops, excuse me, this little triangle here, go all the way to the bottom, and you will see Tim's Texture 1 is right there. And if you choose it, it will be pulled up, and now you can begin to use it. And, of course, in here, you can adjust how much of that texture you want to come through. So that's it. That is how you create a very simple paper texture that you can use um, in Corel Painter. Thank you.